Single decker tower frame is complete. Double decker tower frame is complete. Potato tower frame is complete. And the corn tower frame is complete. All of the tubing is now built and we have hardly any left over. So we are really making some progress now. All sheet metal has been installed. This is a single deck tower, it's on. I'm waiting for uh, the sealant to dry here on the top and then I'll be able to raise this up. I'll need a second person to help because it does get a little heavy. And then here's the potato tower. The holes I cut a little too small. They should have been a little bit bigger. And then that's a two person lift on top of that. And there is the completed corn tower. I, I am super stoked. I haven't done a video in a while because I've been very, very busy. So I just grabbed the phone here uh, to do a quick video. I got the first base built and set up with all the guts in it for our grow towers. Let me show you. Here it is right here. We've got main power in on a switch, which is fused. And then this is the air coming out for the fish tank. It all runs inside. I think I wanna do a little bit better job on the wiring, but these are all the sockets for the air pump, the heater, and the four lights that are possible in every configuration. We've got the 50 micron filter set up with a DC 12 volt pump here. And then we have the AC DC power supply, the air pump, and then here, I actually went above and beyond. These are old HAB1 parts here, uh, and I'm gonna actually set this whole thing up uh, to where it's on automated timers talking to the network and everything. But right now, uh, we got the controller, which is Wi-Fi, a five volt step down, and then a four, four channel relay uh, so I can control the lights and the pump. Very exciting. Really happy with how it's turning out, and now I'm gonna set everything up on it and actually get uh, water flowing through it. It is a great day, great day. It's really hot outside, but that doesn't matter. You know I don't like it when it's hot. What does matter is that this bad boy is operational. This is the ugly duckling, so it has its problems, but we got the one grow deck, the lights are installed, full spectrum, the fish tank is on, some parts I need, got my Miss flaps installed, but check this out. Look at that distribution in there. Look at that. That is beautiful. Beautiful distribution of mist. This one has some challenges on it. Fish tank looks good. Well, I mean, relatively speaking, you need to put a stick on the air bubbler so it goes down. And I've got some actual uh, filters coming. I made this temporary filter so nothing gets sucked up in there. Then we have flap for the maintenance area. Really good filter there. Going around. Primary turn on. On the back side here, we've got all the power plugs. Two more plugs for lights, and I think I need one more for potentially a filter. And then we have here, the other side. Lights are strung up. Not totally happy with that, but it'll do for now. That's gonna work. I think having a variation of the, the light tower that's either extendable or a little bit higher would be good. Either way, this is totally amazing. I am so excited and uh, we made it here. We made it here, guys. I've still got a lot more behind me, a lot more to build. Three more bases that I have to put together with all the electronics. I still have to program the Arduinos. I'm just doing simple timers. We're, we have no sensors or anything like that in the system, so it's not smart. It's a dumb system, but it'll be able to turn on, connect to a network. You can program it, all those types of things based on the different plants. So very excited about that. I still have, well, basically I get those other three bases put together and then I just have to do the plumbing, which actually goes very quickly for the, um, the actual grow volumes. And uh, I need to go up and get some plants uh, started in the germination chamber today. And then that's gonna be pretty much it for the day. It's a great day.